So you may have noticed when we clicked the visit site link in our last video that our admin bar disappears. And that's because we need to add a few WordPress functions to our theme. And the first one we'll add is WP underscore head within PHP tags. And then at the bottom, just above the closing of the body tag, WP underscore footer. So I'll save this and move back and refresh. And there it is, our admin bar is back. And before I continue with WordPress in this tutorial, I want to mention one of the packages that I'll be using for Atom because it'll make uh, your development a lot easier. What you'll want to do to install it is to go to the install page and just type out WordPress and you'll want to install the Atom-WordPress uh, by this guy and then restart your browser so that you can use the uh, autocomplete function. WP underscore footer. And now you can see I've got a bunch of WordPress functions here. I'll just save that. So whenever I'm converting a static website to a WordPress theme, the first thing I like to do is get rid of all the errors that show up. If I go to my console tab, You'll see that I get a lot of 404 errors for the style sheet, a lot of the JavaScript files and the images and so on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get rid of these. So let's get rid of the image errors first. And to fix those, what we need to do is change the path uh, here in the source attribute. To do that, we use a PHP function. Let me zoom in just a bit get underscore style sheet directory URI and we'll need to echo that and what that's going to do is it's going to return the path of the theme folder so I'll copy this actually I'll cut that out and I'm going to paste it in each one of these and why don't we try saving it and refreshing our browser. So it appears the image is still broken, which means uh, we need to add forward slash here. Let's save it again. And refresh it. And now our image errors are gone and they're also showing up on our site. Why don't we include the style sheet next so we can present this a little bit better. And we're going to do that by creating a new file, functions.php. And we'll open up a PHP tag. And we'll go ahead and write our first function. And that's going to be one that loads styles and scripts. Function. We'll call it my portfolio styles scripts like that and then we'll need to hook this function into the WP and Q scripts uh, WordPress function I'll show you what I mean by that we're gonna auto complete the add action function and the tag is what you want to hook into and because we're using WordPress we can use some of their uh, core functions uh, to hook our own style sheets and scripts into. And we'll do NQ scripts. And the function to add will be the one that we just created. I'll copy the name here. And paste that in there. And we'll go ahead and leave these as defaults. So we'll just remove that. Don't forget to close it with the semicolon. And within our function now, we can write WP and Q 
style. And as you can see, this also has a few uh, parameters that you can pass through. We'll call ours, I don't know, main. And for the source, what we'll put is, um, we'll use our old friend git style sheet directory URI, and then we'll concatenate this and add the path to our CSS file. Call it CSS forward slash style dot CSS. And there are no dependencies, so we'll remove this. Uh, no versioning, media all. We'll go ahead and remove those and leave them as default as well. And save it. Okay, now let's check our close this. To refresh and see if we got our CSS included and we do not oh we want to spell this function correctly okay fifth times the charm so you can see here, um, one, our site's not responsive. That can be an entire tutorial series in itself. Uh, but hey, at least we have our CSS included now. Let's move on to the JavaScript. Strange, I'm still getting the error, and I believe that's because I need to delete the reference on index.php file. So I'll do that, no longer need this here, and I'll save it. Over on my functions.php file, just beneath our style sheet PHP, we'll start including some of our JavaScript. Now it says here that we need to include modernizer, and that may be one of the WordPress uh, JavaScripts that are included. So. Why don't we go to the codex and I'll just type included JavaScript many JavaScript libraries are included in core so let's see if modernizer is there if you go to the documentation page you'll see a list of the JavaScript uh, files that are included and it doesn't look like modernizer is there uh, jQuery is or even backbone and underscore removed from core so we'll have to include modernizer using the WP MQ script just hit return and as you can see it's set up similar to the WP MQ style in fact, if I wanted to, I could just copy everything here. And the only thing I'll need to change is the uh, handle. This one's called modernizer. And the path, which is JS. And why don't I copy this file name and then paste it here. Gonna to toggle the soft wrap because I don't want to forget to close any of my functions out. Okay, let's go back and refresh. It looks like we're still getting the error, but probably because I also need to remove it from here. This site's pretty old. And modernizer is for uh, HTML5 stuff. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, we just need to do the same thing for uh, the remainder of these uh, JavaScript files. Now, as you can see, jQuery is listed, and jQuery is actually one of the JavaScript libraries that's included with WordPress. So we can include this one a bit differently.
we use the same function in QScript, we can delete everything and just pass through the handle, which is jQuery. Let's check it out in our browser. But I'll just remove this one. As you can see, the uh, jQuery error is gone. Is easing in here? I don't believe the jQuery easing uh, library that our theme needs is on here. So I'll go ahead and close this out for now. But for future reference, uh, just remember that a lot of jQuery uh, libraries are already here included with WordPress. So if your static website is using some of these, um, you can use WordPress instead of your own. We'll do this function again. This time We'll change the handle to easing, and for the source, we're going to need to copy this line. And we'll remove this part, however, we'll keep the dependency variable because uh, we're actually depending on jQuery. So within this array, I'll just type the handle name, which is jQuery. And then I'll close my function out with the semicolon. And let's comment out our easing. And then refresh. And our error is gone. Let's quickly do the next two. We have something called Lava Lamp. So I'll just change the handle name there. Lava Lamp. Also copy the path. And we can actually just delete these. We'll do the same for image fade. I don't okay. Copy this. Image, oops. Image underscore fade. And we'll copy the file name. believe it's also dependent on jQuery. Oh, it doesn't say. Hmm. I'll save that and I'll remove the uh, jQuery dependency and that comma. Come back and refresh. And it looks like we're down to just uh, one error or two, which is question mark is not a function. Oh, Image fade is trying to use jQuery, so I guess it was a dependency. We'll put that back. And then we'll also new file, and I'll call it just main.js. And I'm going to cut this out, delete this, save it. Over here in main, I'll copy the jQuery. And in functions, finally, include our last JavaScript file. Call that main. Change the name to main.js and we are also dependent on jQuery. So now 